for January transfer window. We're doing well. I think our team is performing exceptionally for anything that I do need to bring in cover and I'm getting hassled by my players. They want squad depth in our defence. Our centre-back. Obviously, we've got three world-class players. We did bring in... Ah, oh, didn't tell you about him. But we did bring in an English player from Peterborough. Can't remember his name, but I think the total deal came to 6 million. Squad player. Did bring him in. He's doing all right. But a big player that we are bringing in in the January transfer window is... Tiago Silva from Chelsea. That's only a loan. So we're paying 50% of his wages. Obviously, no monthly fee. Just back up. It's a long old season and it's something that we just needed to correct in our squad depth. And to be fair, look at his stats. He's slow, he's old, but with that stats and that experience, it's again priceless. Champions League round 16, second leg. First leg, one all. We was away against Red Bull Salzburg, uh, based in Austria. We're playing at home. Was it us being FM'd? Or was it just us being robbed of an opportunity? From what I set out at the beginning of the series, I set out that we're bringing in Harry Kane. He's going to win us the Champions League. I didn't record the game as a live. I thought it wasn't important enough. I literally thought that we was going to win this. So we go straight into the second half. I haven't really shown anything from the first half. It was just bad chances from us we were dominating just like this we was dominating we was getting in the box we was creating chances we just couldn't score again open Komen through on goal post blah, blah, that I can't even talk that would work it's so frustrating 53rd minute Salzburg starts attacking us a little bit more but again just didn't feel that much of a threat if I'm honest we was comfortable, felt like we was going to win it. But I said to myself, it just went stale, mate. I said to myself, they're going to nick it in for the last minute. And they did. Here it is. Where was our defence? Two players went in for that ball. None of our players marking them. And they went on and won the game. Obviously, they did. I just couldn't do anything about it. And we are out of the Champions League. So, in theory, this, this video is not worth carrying on, right? I carried on anyway because I was like, oh, from that disappointment, I might as well just carry on and see if I can win the league on top of the table. It's quite tight, but I'm trying to push on from Dortmund, who are second. We've got them coming up, so that could be the title decider. Here you go. Here's the lineup. We're still playing our three at the back. 15 minutes on the clock. Dortmund's got the ball. No, they don't. We break through with our young Sattel to Kane. And it's 1-0. Hala. Oh, this becomes a cracker of a game. I, again, I didn't record any live reactions because I was just trying to get through it. After the Champions League loss, I was still a bit angry. Hala breaks through again and makes it 2-1. We are down. We are at home as well. But hold that fault. Tell tries to break through. Nope. He loses the ball. But what is the Dortmund goalkeeper doing? Kane puts on pressure and brings it back to 2 all. It's not even half time yet. Four goals scored. We go on for attack. Davies to Sané. And he runs through and little toe poke. Love it. We are in for lead. 3-2. Five goals in one half. We do go into the second half now. Dortmund's got the ball. That Haller. Oh, maybe I will try and bring him in. He looks quite good in this game. And they just break my defence. Even Marlon as well. He looks quite good. I like Dortmund's attack. They've got a good midfield as well. Their defence, they probably need to invest in the defence a little bit. Right, we've got the ball. 87th minute. We whip the ball in. Falls to Kane's feet. 4-3. It is. It's not a last minute goal. But is it the winner? Yes, it does. It finishes there. And as you can see by stats. We, we deserve the victory. That's it. We've won the league. We won for Bundesliga in our not final game. We still had six games to go. This means that we've got five games left of the season to go. And we've won it. So that means we can play our B team. If we was in Champions League, that would have definitely been the case. We won 2-0. And we're lifting for trophy. Now you could say... Oh yeah, big team, this was expected. But the pressure is, they've won it like 12 times in a row. That it, or oh, this is now our 12 times, 11 times previously. And if we didn't win it, 
How crap would I have looked? So we won the Super Cup, we won the league, we're still in the Cup, so we've got a, tr a domestic treble to complete, or a double in proper, because obviously we don't count Charity Shield uh, as a proper Cup. But yeah, absolutely dominated this uh, game. Yeah, our XG is amazing as well, 3.87. 29 shots, 12 on target, and we only won 2-0. So this is the table as it stands. We are champions, play 29. Obviously, we would play Fate 4, so we've still got five games to play. Form is incredible. We've lost five, which I'm always disappointed. But all away games, we are unbeaten at home. Actually, we've won every single home game. Drawn two, goal difference 45, 63, four, and against 18. I will show you again the final table of how we do. Last game of the season, and we get to play Rebel Leipzig, just like we did in our first trophy of the season, or our first trophy of FM24. Leipzig will probably want revenge, but can we get our third trophy of the season? So we got the Super Cup, we got the League, and now can we get the Cup? So here are the lineups for the Cup Final. We are playing De Gea, obviously Nua got injured, Kim Min Jae, Dilit, Opa Mahano, Mazara, Mazari. Rui, Masala, Retka, Davies, Coman, Lane, Kane. Pretty much my best team. Kimmich on the bench since he didn't want to sign a new contract and he wanted to keep his options open. He hasn't played that well. Ah, oh, really bad start. Two minutes in. That offside. Back in VAR. It's loud. Phew. Oh, couldn't have hoped for a worse start. No suit today. It's that cup final, but I think I'd only wear a suit if it was the Champions League final. And that was just disappointing. That Masala. Masala's been brilliant in that position as a Mazella. Mazzori. Got no one supporting him. Come on, I've got two wingers. Is he's gone in. Dillet. Babies. Babies running down for the line. Goretzka. And nothing. Back out to Mazzori. Mazzori gets Komen. Komen to Goretzka. No offside there. Get in. Goretzka. Mazzola. Oh, no away. All away. Keep it going. Oh, I would have been a brilliant goal. Well, I was checking my camera and then we seem to have scored. No offside, something like that. I want a full goal. I've got replays on. Missed it. Oh, I did have replays on. Replays on. Replay event. Ah, why would I ever untick them all? There's, there's certain things I, I get it. It's beta, early access. But things like this never change. So why would it be an issue? I've had a few issues with this release so far. It feels fantastic, but it's just little things niggling on me. Well, that's a little bit annoying. I missed the goal. I'll have to check that in the background. Well, it's recorded anyway. Yep, you're doing brilliant. Well done. One thing I haven't seen yet is us hitting the woodwork. That's probably to come. Every game I hit woodwork two to three times. Every single game. All right, Daha, Minje, Masala. Masala just loves running from that position. Is that wide Missouri? Goretzka runs into Komen. Komen's got space. How did he miss that? All right, looks like we've won three trophies. I wouldn't call it a treble. I know they're going to say it's a treble. I don't class Super Cup as anything. There we go. We have won every German competition possible. Again, it's probably expected. We are by Munich. Nothing special, really. But my aim was Champions League. We know we got robbed. Here we go. Another trophy for us. Oh, I'll always celebrate a trophy. We just got unlucky with Champions League. Oh, I was just thinking about it now. Makes me sad. So there we have it. We won for the Mystic Treble. And this is our journey. Just showing you in the background. We lost eight games all season. I'm just scrolling through. Show it. And obviously we've shown for disappointment already of the Champions League. Players and performance, De Gea, brilliant free transfer. If you can get him, a great time is back up. 
which is amazing. And then we got Thomas Muller. He signed a new contract for another year. It's half the salary. He was on 300k. Now he's under 165. Well worth then just for his experience. Masala. He stepped up his game. He was playing bit part for me, but I changed one of my centre mid positions to Mazala. Put him in it. Bang. He's been amazing. Davies. He got injured a little bit halfway through the season, but he's been very consistent. Again, Kim Min Jae's consistent performer. Mazzori's been up and down, but overall, again, not too bad. Harry Kane. I've been a little bit disappointed with him. Obviously, over 30 games and only 19 goals. I mean, he's formed dropped off right he's just being inconsistent maybe it's culture change who know could do really well next season Nua again I signed another experienced player I signed him again for another season he was on high salary he still is he's on 140,000 but again that experience is vital the lit he's really hit form lately played okay throughout the season but at the end of the season he's really really come on strides which is good and Sané Sané dropped off halfway through the season I think we was going through again that Champions League stage and he was just playing awful for us but again he up his game which was really really good and then we've got this youngster 19 years old Matthias Mathis Mathistel sorry I can't pronounce your name but he played eight games nine on sub and he played really really good considering his age he is going to be brilliant in the future one to watch out for one to add to your wonder kid list Kingsley Coman again Coman and Kimmich brilliant start to the season and then at the end of the season they just dwindled down Kimmich he wants to leave Goretzka, he started playing well, started playing well, especially last game. Maybe him and Mazzola has now found that relationship and he's kicking off from that. But again, that partnership could be really good for next season. I mean, not getting into too much details on my tactics because I will probably do a tactic video. I want to do more testing before I send it out to you guys. But here you go. This is what it is. If you are watching the video, you might want to try it out. I will put, probably put on Steam at some point so that it can be uploaded or you can just copy what you you see here that we play sweeper keeper attack three out the back complete win backs support i used to have them on attack but with the mazella coming into play i get those four attacks anyway instead of five but for complete win back and for box box builders give those four attacking players enough support with obviously our three center backs and our goalkeeper giving all that back support as well. So you can see the phases of, of our tactics. And then you've got uh, wingers. I did have it inside forward. Then I went inverted winger. Uh, they've now put in our option for wings that they can cut inside with the ball. So we've got basically they're still staying out wide. But as soon as they get a ball, they look to go inside. Whereas if you had it inverted wing or inside forwards, they would already start going in. They would be playing three up top. And that's when you probably want your wing back go through and have that overlap i'm still tweaking with advanced forward i was trying to do a dlf just to suit kane but i've always preferred advanced forward or a pressing forward so i'm still i'm still playing with that position and here's the final league table we got 77 points goal difference 49 we scored 72 goals only conceded 23 at the best attack and the best defense by a mile off so that's our Bayern munich save probably done and dusted i will keep the save there just in case i want to go back to it and see another season i might do it later on maybe when a full release is about i want to try another nation i want to try another team and i want to see if this tactic works for other teams as well maybe next time i will try a underdog maybe it could work for an underdog team I, I don't know i will go away have a think about it and then we will try and get a season done as quick as this I can't believe I got a season done in a week. So hopefully I can get another season done before full release. If you've liked this video, you know what you need to do. Hit that like button so it goes out to the world. And if you'd like to see continue watching content like this, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you up on the next one.